So today I'd like to show you an extension or a tool that you can use to your Chrome browser to save you some time when you're leaving feedback to students on work that's submitted online. This tool is called Permanent Clipboard and what it allows you to do is type a list of frequently used feedback comments that you make on student work and you'll be able to add those to student work much faster than it is to type them over and over again. First thing you're going to want to do to get started is go to the Chrome Web Store and you are going to search for the extension Permanent Clipboard. When you do a search for it, the first one on the list should be this option here at the top with the blue rectangle and the paper clip. You're going to see that mine does say added and has a green box. It's only because I've already added it to my Chrome browser. Yours should have the blue add to Chrome option. If you go ahead and click that, it will download that extension to your Chrome browser. And you will find that extension, once it's downloaded, at the top of your screen with the rest of your extensions. They're going to be to the right of the web address bar, and you're just going to look for that exact same icon. You'll notice if I hover over it, it will say permanent clipboard. So, what is Permanent Clipboard? It's a place for you to create a list of comments that you leave frequently. And it's very easy to create that list. If you click on the extension icon at the top of your screen, you're going to see a box come up. Now mine already has some rules and feedback that I've used for students in the past, but you will see on yours just a spot to add new entry and you'll see this little plus sign. This plus sign is the equivalent of creating a file folder. So if you would like to divide your comments and your feedback based on assignment, you would want to create a new directory for each assignment. If, however, you have some feedback comments that you leave regularly on all of your assignments, you may not want to create a directory for those. It's really up to you and how you want to organize it. Creating these feedback comments is as simple as clicking Add New Entry. There you're going to first type in a description. This description is this what you would see in blue to remind you what your rule is. So mine is going to be capitalize pronoun I. And the content is what the student would actually see in regards to your feedback. It can be as detailed or um, as specific as you would like it to be. Remember, the nice thing is, is that these comments can be a bit more detailed because you are not typing them over and over and over again for 75 students. Once you have created the description and content, simply select Add, and you're going to see now it appears on your list. You can always edit these and delete these at any time. So now what? Now you have a list of great feedback, but how do you use it? If you have student work in something like this Google Doc, it is as simple as finding where you want to leave your comment, clicking the add a comment button as you normally would, but now instead of taking the time to type it out, right click, insert from permanent clipboard, and what you normally would have typed. It now just pastes in. You can also, when you are creating these clipboard comments, include things like web links. So for instance, I have included with this one a web link with more information about the feedback that I'm giving. So I just found essentially a YouTube video that was about this topic, and now the student not only has been given my comment to use a comma after introductory elements, but that student also has been directed to a YouTube video that she can use in order to gain more information about that. And again, because it's a comment that I have saved, I did not have to go through all the time of typing that out. I was just able to click, click, and it's there. 
So hopefully you will find this tool useful and to be a time saver. As always, if you have any questions about a tool or you'd like some help using it or setting it up, please feel free to stop down and visit me.